Our next song is called Honky Tonk, and we're going to move into the key of C. Now C, we're going to alternate the bass. Typical, sort of ragtime blues, like Big Bill Brunsey, Blind Blake, Reverend Gary Davis. The Piedmont style, a little happier style of blues than we've been playing. So get a smile on your face, and let's do a little bit of Honky Tonk. some of the technique that we're learning in the key of C. That was the first pass, but there's a lot of interesting things in that, with the right hand especially. Uh, first of all, we're doubling the bass in some areas. So you're going to see on my G7th. Remember way back when? Remember when we used to, on the E, the, the, the stumble? It's come back now on the G7th. Exactly the lick, but a little improvising there. Free liberty on my part. So the very beginning with the double. Those little C runs right off of there. So common in C, just like when we were in E, remember we would always go. Well, in C, I'm always going, you know. So. Into the seventh and now the F. And a little F run right here. no idea how I learned that, why I learned it, because it sounds pretty dissonant out of place. But in the context of the song, it's pretty cool. Double the bass, and the Brunzi run. Two other interesting things I just saw right there. Sometimes I'll use this for my F7, a partial. Again, bar, F7, hey, that's fun. Or I'll maybe go up into this F7, we'll talk about that in a minute. But there's no way I'm making that chord, okay? Not on acoustic guitar, and not finger picking as we talked earlier. Okay, I'm gonna try actually. Nah. You get those two notes that are really cool right there. Right in there. double stops. Just like we remember we were doing a double stops in E all over the neck. And you can use those in any order. Very cool for C. Going into the F. Now I make my F normally an F major 7th like this. Thumb wrap. Now on the thumb wrap, something that's you know, important here, a lot of my students try to really wrap their thumb over the top and are more interested in the thumb okay, than the chord. So you displace the chord. The chord gets displaced, the thumb's over the top, thumb sounds pretty good, the rest sounds, you know, funky. So what I do is I try to keep my chord intact and then just use a little pinch, a little of that flesh. And hey, if it sounds like, you know, you're dampening anyway maybe or try to grab the string down, but keep the chord intact and just bring your thumb over and go instead of this. 
and that goes with all the thumb wraps. My recommendation to you. So thumb wrap F. Little bend there. Remember the bends earlier on E. If you were in E or if you just came to C, here's the bend. Start in its regular position, the D note, and move it up. And I bend it again on C. No idea why. G, seventh, and a nice little little run. Very easy. Get back into C. Now, same principles we used before in all the other keys, I use in every key, okay? So let's make a D seventh chord and move it way up the neck to a C seventh. Okay, why not? I use this chord everywhere. You've seen me use it in the key of A, the key of E. Now you see me using the key of C. Hang out, do whatever you want up there. I usually go back and forth. Put a little run in maybe. Again. Remember on the runs with the right hand, finger behind the thumb, it helps. Most of the time I try to alternate, but that's not always the case. As there. So that little run would sound like this, that whole little area. Look familiar? That's that C7 chord moved up again, now to F7. I use that all the time. And the great thing about it is, if you learn one lick with your right hand, you can, you can move it anywhere. So I'm playing it in F. And sometimes I'll add some diminished chords to the second half of the F. Watch. Or... And those work great. They just you can go from the first fret, fourth fret, up the neck, seventh fret, tenth fret, and if you go way up, thirteenth fret, and move them around like cartoon music. A little C run. Again, alternating here with the right hand. Back to that funny F7, double the bass. Ending. I'm just using three turnarounds in C, putting them all together. The one basic one, C, C7, F major 7, A flat 7, back to C. Fifth fret, whatever this is, <laughs> fourth fret, third fret, C. And then way up, 12th fret, 11th fret, 10th fret, C. So like the other keys, we're playing fills, lead runs, lead runs, all around a steady rhythm. Including double stops. So the more different it seems, the more like it really is, and that's honky tonk. <laughs> 